Rabbit's Badass Song Review, a Flash Delirium comic. Now this one, don't let that name fool you. This shit is gritty. Gritty like haven't brushed my teeth in weeks type of grit. Nigga, what? Or like I'm at the beach and the sand got in my ham sandwich type of grit. That wasn't sand, that was kitty litter. Yo, run, run that cover art back. Look, look at this shit. That bunny rabbit mask is giving me vibes that I can't quite put my hand on um, or put my finger on just yet. But I know it's going to come to me a little later on while I'm shooting this vid. <laughs> you know the Supreme Thotties had the bunny mask on deck for Halloween. Yo, look at this font. Like, wh whenever the font is this simple, you know there's mad death coming in these pages. This story takes place in the good old deep south of Mississippi. Um, this is where we got that old-fashioned country racism. That hard ER for the peeps that know what I'm talking about. Morning, niggas. The artwork is dark, setting the tone and matching the tone of this story. I love the hard use of blacks too. Yo, that sounds old and wild. I, when I mean the blacks, I'm talking about the inks. The brush strokes and the line work look so freaking dope. Love the shading. When you have a story that's this gritty like this, the artwork has to match it. It, it, there's no question it has to this project was created by chris j elston and chastity lassiter i wanted to say lannister so freaking bad if you ever call me sister again i'll have you strangled in your sleep we got the pencil inks and covers by halil meat i hope i pronounced that right you guys know if i butcher your name i apologize um cover colors by jose antonio lopez and letters by tobin rasikat again i apologize I want to be super reserved on how much content I go over. If you fuck with revenge type stories, I think that's what we own right here. One of my favorite revenge stories is Kill Bill Volume 1. It's like, it, it is no questions or explanation. It's on site for whoever did me dirty. The beginning has these two dudes. I think they're uncle and nephew. Um, seems like their fam is full of the most delightful people this country has to offer. Apparently their fam stole a piece of jewelry and did some other sh shady shit. Damn! Did some other shady shit that we're gonna get to in a second. But um, these two got caught lacking. The bartender poisons them, knocks them out, and they wake up in some sketchy ass basement. Now right here is where we're introduced to the main character, Rabbit, and his crew. The introduction to Rabbit himself is, is fucking dope. Imagine being kidnapped and you have no clue where you are, and this dude with a metal bunny mask with a creepy ass grin is like, yo, soup's ready. That would be fucking terrifying to anyone. I fucking, I, I remember. I remember, oh shit, I remember that episode of the Rugrats when Angelica put on that fucking bunny mask and knocked down that clown fucking lamp and she was running around terrorizing the fucking babies. And then I tackled her. Chucky yelled like a fraid cat, ran away. That's when I saw it. That stupid clown lamp. That's where my fucking fear of bunny mask originated. That shit right there, I fucking remember that. I knew I was gonna remember. Any fucking way, side note. Looks like these guys did something to Rabbit and his fam in the past, um, i.e. the jewelry stealing. The uncle that's tied up is a dumb ass. He has the intelligence of sandpaper. He's popping all this shit to Rabbit, slanging these racist words and threats. Like, dude, like, do, do you know you're the one that's tied up? Like, you, you literally have zero playing cards, but you keep talking because you probably deserve what's coming to you anyway. Now, remember in the past vids, when I talked about that, oh shit, what the fuck is this moment? Well, Rabbit gives this hillbilly heathen that Cal Drogo special and pours boiling hot soup on dude's head. Jesus Look at Duke's Christ. face. <laughs> That's what you fucking get. And then to add insult to injury, Rabbit pulls out the hammer and blasts this guy point blank range. Like, yo, that's it. That's all y'all getting from me. Like, no need to go on and continue the rest of the story. Um, there's some a lot of cool shit like this that happens later on. But this is the type of time that we on. Right? Cop this. Follow at Flash Delirium. I'll fucking put his fucking name up here. But it, follow me. I don't give a shit. Do whatever. I'm out. That's it. This story is fucking flames. Go read this shit right now. Um, that's it. I'm fucking out of here. Done. I'm fucking done. That shit was fucking fire.